heating up some pasta from the other night. I'm hungry. I've been up so long. It's like 9.21. That's all it is. And I'm like bugging Tim. Like, are you awake yet? I gotta edit yet. <laughs> 16 minute video to edit through, which shouldn't be too bad. My biggest problem is going back and forth with microphones, no microphones, is the audio's up and down, up and down, up and down. But so far today I've been using the Sony. I don't know. We go car looking. Doesn't matter. Whatever. I'm going to, I'm going, we're going to definitely go back to the Kirk Road at some point. I'm going to get some really good quality images from what I have researched of the different models. That particular car is a 2012 Sport Limited. It has the leather seats, it has the updated climate control, MP, you know, the CD player, which I don't think mine had. I think that was the limited and the premium, and the premium didn't have the, the CD player. I know my car does it right now. I only have Bluetooth and the radio. Who buy CDs anymore? Nostalgic people. Um, so it's, from what I'm seeing, there was one on there on Kelly Blue Book. I don't know where it's at. Um, it's over 50 miles away. I know that much. Uh, they wanted almost $15,000 for it, but it's only got 74,000 miles on it versus having 186,000 miles on it. So, which honestly with a Subaru, I'm not so concerned about it being, you know, that old with that many miles because I easily would have exceeded that in 2012 because I had 105,000 on it when I traded mine in six years ago. So easily it can be done if it was maintained. And if this guy is as credible as all the people say, we have any problems, we call him up, take it back in, he'll look at it, work on it, and give us a reasonable repair rate. So that's all important stuff to us right now. And it's close to home. <laughs> We're still gonna go look, I'm trying to get a hold of Tim, so I'm not doing this on my own, but uh, get his opinions. And uh, obviously, we're not gonna see any dealers because they're all gonna be closed. But we can still look and take pictures and whatnot. I think we're kind of set. Just, I mean, it's just, just to give ourselves a backup plan in case something find we find out something major is wrong and we can't do it. Finally, it works. Okay. Now we're getting out of here. Um, we got a little bit of a added plan to my to my day uh so i was searching on just for giggles i got on best buy site i put in bluetooth tripod again which i know i searched a couple weeks ago and kind of gave up on it and now magically they have one i believe it's by sunpack it is a 36 inch telescoping with rechargeable bluetooth so that and i'm going to get the sports band for the Samsung watch because it's just I hate these bands they're just too hot I think it's a, a normal buckle but I don't care it's still a sporty band I really don't care if it's magnetic because I hit it all the time and release my watch and then it falls off it's a real pain in the ass um, but that sends us down the Fields Grove way there's definitely some used car sales down there uh, I did contact 360 Insta 360 about returning this. Oh, they would like photos and videos of what I'm talking about. So I set it all back up. I uh, put the adapter on. I didn't film it or anything yet, but yep, as soon as I put the microphones on, if I, it must be pulling weight on the arm, which is unbalancing it. So it's just not designed for what I want to do. And they're probably going to be like, well, that's kind of, can't use it that way. Yeah, well, it doesn't work for what I want it to do. They won't return it, they won't return it, but it's not... It, it still doesn't work the way all these other do. Oh, it's so much better than this. The only feature that's better is the fact that it comes all, all the way back around, but then it's aim at the sky. So anyway, all right. So the dogs and I are out of the house. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to take them because obviously I'm not going to get to walk them. You can hear the weather. It is just an absolute downpour right now. We went out, they did their piddles, and now they're sleeping in the back. <laughs> all right. Well. It's the best buy. It took me a little while, but I finally got things going there. I might have to do some adjusting here on this handle, and I'm not sure because it seems like it's possibly a, got a, a loose issue going. So I'm going to have any traction. <laughs> Let's see if it works. There we go. Now I got audio. So, yeah, I don't know. Every time I turn the handle around to me, it, it's got a lot of play in it. Come on, Priya. Come on! So, I don't know if this is, this is probably not any better. At least it is controlling it somewhat. All right, so this one here 
I thought it was the same exact thing as I had. It's not. It's a much beefier version. Comes with a different type of head that swivels, but it does have GoPro attachment in there. Uh, where was, where did I see it? This guy right here, which will allow you to kind of bend it, but it has Bluetooth and it actually has a little cable to connect it to the handle. This one here is another option, but this is the piece I really wanted here was for the car. So I can actually rotate my phone. So we're gonna give that a try. But this handle may actually be my, my better bet. Anyway, let's get the hell out of Best Buy and go look at cars. Okay, that doesn't look horrible. Camera has to be back to the bottom again. But when I come around, I'm above the dash. But this guy here, I'm kind of curious. Because you push that button in and then that... Ooh, that guy locks nice. It might be a good angle. It's not very tractionable though. But you can make that move by pushing in the button and angling it. You can angle it basically anywhere you want. Interesting. Okay. And it when it locks, it locks. So basically you gotta you like this and there you go this may end up being the way I go without the extra Bluetooth because I've been just reaching up and hitting all right so something I didn't realize that this little uh, car mount does it actually, now I knew it rotated, so you can do up, but it actually rotates all the way around. So if I want to film out that way, I can spin it so it's more in the center of the car and it's higher. So it's kind of neat. Now, I don't know how that's going to work out for uh, me spinning. I don't know. I'm still showing myself upright. That's kind of interesting. It will go all the way around, but unfortunately I don't have the phone quite centered. Well, I'm not going to lie, guys. It has been a very bad day. For, I mean, every place I've looked, <clears throat> there's been nothing to even get out and look at and get worth getting wet for. Wasn't going to. I kind of was on the fence, get my Reuben. Then I thought, ooh, I haven't had my Pittsburgh salad in a while. Got them a couple hot dogs, but I don't like Snappy's prices on hot dogs. Their salad prices are excellent. Their hot dog prices suck really bad. It's like $2 a dog. Mm -hmm. I forgot about this one right off. Ooh, I see a white super over there. Ooh, I see a blue super over there. Alrighty. This was a good call. Let's take a look at these two guys right here. Let's make that three. I didn't realize that was a four through as well. Alright, what do we got going on here? So, the Mephosa Sport, I'm going to say it's closer in age to mine. Yep, yeah, 11995, 2013. All right, so that's a year newer. How about size four? Yeah, 14, 2014, 14, and 15,000. Uh, well, okay, so neither one of those is a good deal. And 14,995, yeah. All right, well. Okay, at least we finally saw something. That's a 14. I don't know if you can read that. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Shimmery auto signals. That was a 13, 142,000 on a 13. All right. So I didn't give a really, really good walk around. So. See, I've never seen, this is what I'm saying, I've never seen his logo anywhere, but Google reviews, it's pretty good. So this is a Sport Limited. From what I'm researching, because it has the leather seat package in it, um, you know, we didn't see any major cosmetic issues on the outside of the car. Ground effects is all there. Looks like it's all nice and tight. Right here is the only thing I saw. That's something simple, I think, though, to fix. 
I think he said he put tires on it. Don't know. Might get a year out of them. Hopefully they're in all weather. MS932 Sport. <coughs> you can't see the brand. I think the, I think the brand might be up on the other side. But it's freshly inspected. So we got a full year on inspection. Let's see, what is it here? Milestar? I'll look up a Milestar tire. But this does have the lower profile tires too. With it being a sport package. Uh, so I can get you guys up higher. Take a look at the yeah, and look back at the roof and everything. The only thing it doesn't have, some of the sports have, was like a little piece here, which Terry really wouldn't care about. He said he's going to get the tow cover. He got that ordered, so that's going to come in. Get that replaced. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is going to be okay. Can't really see in because of the reflection and all. But there's other seats all the way around. The only thing I, get, I want, maybe we want to do when we come back Tuesday is check lights, make sure everything is functioning that way. Um, so they did power wash the engine, which made sense why I was kind of smelling that when we got back, and also why it was a little hesitant at first. But, you know, and she was worried about the, it was a little rough at first, but smoothed out. I think because it's sitting on the lot, it just, uh, you know, might might eventually look and see if I can't get her a new steering wheel logo because that one's pretty faded. Can't really see it. But this has like the white tachometer and speedometer and everything. The upgraded heating system, ACD stereo. Like I said, mine doesn't even have that. Inside wise, I mean the seats aren't torn. So I mean it's it's all it's all the little things. I feel like they overcleaned the inside of it though with whatever they used. Looks like they had one of those external mirrors. Just get some rubbing alcohol or gooby gone and that'll come off. Get that off there. Or yeah, I think. I think guys, I think this might be our car for Tuesday. I don't know what all we have to jump through. How if how he depends how he wants to check and stuff, so. But yeah, see. You get into the cross tracks, you're looking at 13,000. That Forester, I forget what that one was, but it was more. The one I was talking about, though, is over here. I don't even know if that's part of his lot. I don't know. Some kids were looking at this one. 139 for a uh, three wheel drive. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is him or not down here, but that one right there. That would be a nice little one, but that doesn't have any of the fog lights or anything, and I think it's newer. Another little Impreza in here. This, I'm not sure if this one was here or not. It's an automatic. 10.9, uh, yeah, too much. Oh, this one's so much more. It looks like it has an updated... That's a 12. It's interesting. Might have way less miles on it. The mileage is probably bringing that one down, and I think he just kind of got it in and didn't really get a whole lot to do to it yet. But then down here is the older version. Oh, there was two of them here the other day. Oh yeah, there's the other one. Yeah. Terry's old baby. It's hard to believe looking at that. I know, I'm kind of ADD. It's kind of hard to believe looking at this, that basically her car was gone from here. This is the whole thing. This this whole thing is gone. It's back in here. <laughs> just it's just crazy. And she walked away. So that's a 2011. So it's the same year as Terry's. 1199. We paid 13 for hers six years ago. Seven. 2016. Seven years ago. All right. Let me get down to the other one. Alrighty. Yeah. See, this is how they used to do the sports. They did it with the two tone. See, it was $99.95 for 2008 Subaru Sport. I'm kind of curious why he's so low on that other one. Must not have had to do a whole lot to it, I'm hoping. This has a different shifter pattern, too. I don't like that shifter. We That RAV4 had that type where you had to click out and click back in. It was a pain in the butt. See, I don't really know what the difference... I mean, obviously, with these, they do with the two-tone paint scheme. 
which is okay, I guess. I mean, it's nothing spectacular to me. Lights might be a little bit fresher, too. But, all right. Another Impreza. Oh, excuse me. That's an Impreza? Seems awful big. Sure here that one is. That is a 15. So that would have been the style prior to mine. Yeah, that would have been two years before mine. my model came out. God, I didn't realize they were as broad as they were then. That feels a lot broader than my car. You see what I'm saying with... Okay, so they have a little bit of this flare out here. Mine has all kinds of intricate, and that's what they backed into and pushed in on my bumper. I'm going to want to ask him what it would cost to get a bumper for that. If it would be worth fixing. How much it would be. You know, maybe if we buy a car from him, maybe he'll, uh, you know, be able to help me out. Or give me some, in, you know, ideas. I'm sure I could look online and stuff, but like I said, it doesn't affect the performance. Actually, that would be awesome. Especially in a day like today. Oh, that would be sweet. You know, one more sign that this is a good idea. The rain has turned to mist so I could film this clip, not pouring down rain. <laughs> A lot of Subarus in here. He he said it. He goes Subaru sell, so he buys them as as he can. Thirteen for twelve nine. So yeah. God, they're still getting as much money out of these cars as we bought hers for. That's crazy. And her her car was a one owner um, garage cat. Hmm. So, all right. Well, let's take one more walk around this bad boy. Like I said, my, my concern is you have a Forester Park next to it. This gives you what my concern is. Terry likes more of an SUV, up a little higher. You know, that's why we went with the Outback. It sits up a little higher, a little bigger vehicle. And you're shrinking down to this. But, I mean, in the long run, I think it'll be a good little running car for her. Um, you know, for both of us. Because, honestly, I can see me having no issue jumping in and you know going out and taking this taking the dog somewhere if we need to get something a little bit bigger we have the hatchback again so super important i i sort of miss that but i don't do enough that it was required by one of the sedan again <clears throat> well yeah please if anybody has any comments concerns or uh anything else let me know but uh I'm excited for a good little color. You know, it's not a, it's not white, silver, and red are the worst three colors to buy in cars. <clears throat> white and silver due to weather like this, where they can blend in, and red because cops look for them and the insurance is higher. So, yeah, I think I'm going to snap a few pictures and uh, be on our way. Need a little bit of wheel damage going on there. Little, little coating or something peeling. Probably from them putting tires on it, maybe. Or maybe a brush to the curb. I kind of want to ask him, too, about alignment. Because I feel like it pulled extremely hard. Oops. Extremely hard to the uh, right. I know they designed them to pull right, but like I let go of the wheel. And, yeah, they want to make a right-hand turn on its own. That makes it easy to look at. You didn't even lock the damn thing. <laughs> Alright, now you can see the leather seats. I mean, everything looks like it's in good condition. You thought maybe the jack wasn't... Yeah, that's that's what you're hearing back there. The jack wasn't down. Alright. Not held down, but... Alrighty. Well, I'm sure the rest of the interior since I can get it open. For 2012, I mean, looks like it's in good condition to me. Little marks on the roof. That that's uh, you know, <laughs> not to be unexpected. Little wear from the driver's side there. Does not have sunroof. Okay, I thought it had sunroof. It does not. She doesn't care about that. One of the cars. I think it was the Rav we test drove because we only drove t two cars. <clears throat> There's supposed to be something right here. 
I don't remember that being open like that. Get the other side. Okay, I'll say something to him, see if we can get a plastic cover for the passenger side. Yeah, that's not probably not great that that's open like that. The doors don't seem to be all scuffed up or scratched. I mean, the leather is going to get a little bit of wear, but this is all going to be covered for the dogs. So. Like I said, again, just a little bit of, I have leather wipes, we can clean them up a little bit more. A little bit of, right there on the thing, but, I mean, that's, could be so much worse. My car looks horrible from the dogs. Like I said, the white tachometer in the dash. So it's sporty. And this is a way more advanced heating system than I had. I want to check the heat out, too. And he's supposed to look at the air conditioner. Yeah, all the books and everything are in here. That's good. So, all right. Yeah, floor, I mean, may have been a dog at some point or something, but <laughs> can't, we, we have no room to talk on that portion. Again, no major scuffing on the doors. Pretty clean. A lot of times you get like wear. I'm trying to be careful not to hit this other car next to me. But yeah, you get a little wear in here, buttons and whatnot. Gotta check all the. I did check windows on the other vehicle. I didn't check windows on this. I don't think. And it's the simple. It's, no. Ugh. That's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. It's that. But yeah. So she can definitely. Bring yourself up a few, and bring yourself down a few. Oh, I didn't realize I had it. I thought I yeah, you put it in cart mode, race mode. <laughs> That's what I did the Nissan this morning. Uh, you got your dash controls, but like I said, the emblem is pretty worn off. I don't know with the airbag if that can be replaced or not. It may not be able to. But let me just double check this. Oh, 175, 966, not 185, not 186. Okay. That's wrong. That's even better. Okay. Well, that was quick, so. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. I hope this whole thing works through. Actually has a more advanced mirror than the Nissan does in it, too. It's got like the, but we'll have the big mirror over top of it, so it won't matter. Okie dokie. I think we've taken as good a look as we can take. A little mark right here. Maybe get some touch up there. Other than that, I mean, a little dent right there. Just minor little stuff. I mean, you got it's, it's 11 years old. What do you expect? Okay. Well, let's go home because I have a Pittsburgh salad to eat. Mr. Carr, I'm really hoping you're parked next to mine in another couple days. Because I'm beginning to really like you. You know what? I can even take a look at the engine. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, they cleaned it up good. They yeah, can clean it up good. Wowzers. That is nice. A little, little battery curls in there, but you know. And unlike my car, it doesn't have all the electronics, so a battery like that will serve her well probably for a while. I'd probably buy her another Red Optima down the road. That was one of the things I was really sad about when I looked under the hood the other day. But uh, yeah. Alrighty. I don't see anything falling off. The hamsters are in their cages, ready to rock and roll. All 16 of them. Still has the engine padding, which you know usually isn't there if it's been in an accident because it's replaced the hood. Okay. Sorry, it's a little windy out, but uh, just got home from taking Terry to work. She just feels safer that way right now, so I'm not gonna argue 
Tomorrow's going to be interesting. i got to get up in the morning, go pick her up, come home, and go back to work. That's all right. As long as she feels safe. Really? You're going to pee on... Yep, you're going to pee on the patio again. She does not like this wet grass. I have got to get this cut as soon as we get a nice day. But, uh... All right, everybody. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh... Like I said the other day, and I've kept saying over and over, I think we found her car. So it's just a matter of getting to Tuesday afternoon and, you know, seeing what he needs for us to pay for it. Come on, get in. Um, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to recommend that she even calls her back and, you know, sees what her limit is with her card. Because the money's in her account. You know, she might be able to just go and be done. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the morning. Have a good night.